What is chowder? While most people have at least heard of clam chowder, there are lots of other chowders out there, too. However, just what is chowder? How did someone come up with them in the first place? Chowder is usually a creamy soup that is thick and full of chunky ingredients, rather like a stew. So what makes it different? Traditionally, chowder starts with a bacon base. Bacon and onions are sautéed together to create a rich flavor from which to build the soup. In years gone by, the soup was thickened with crackers or bread. Today, you will find most chowder thickened with cream or roux, which is a mixture of flour and melted butter. This traditional stew originally came from France, where it was called chaudy air. When French settlers brought the recipe to America, it was quickly adopted and adapted to the local ingredients. What we have today is a combination of French chalky air and traditional English seafood stews. Chowder was often considered food for poor people. They would keep a kettle over the fire and just keep adding ingredients as needed. Chowder became an entire meal. Fish chowders were made before clam chowder was invented. In fact, the first fish chowder recipe was printed in the Boston Evening Post in 1751. Chowder could also be made on board ship with fresh seafood and hard tack biscuits. The biscuit tradition has changed today, but the history is echoed in tossing a few crackers on top of the bowl of chowder. Clam chowder became a fast favorite in areas where clams were prevalent. Seafood chowders contained anything the cook had on hand, including shrimp, oysters, lobster, crab, or fish. Cooks began adding cream to the chowder for thickening. The primary exception to this rule is Manhattan clam chowder, which is tomato-based. As people moved across the country, they took their chowder-making skills and used land-based ingredients to create other types of chowders. Chicken chowder, corn chowder, sausage bean chowder and potato chowder are just a few types you may run across. Of course, you can make almost anything into a chowder. Just about any type of meat or vegetable can be used in a chowder. Just take a look at ham and vegetable chowder and you will see how anything can be made into one of these delicious soups. Chowders are rich and thick, the perfect meal on a cold winter's night. It sticks to your ribs and warms the bones. Serve it up with some fluffy biscuits or hearty cornbread for a complete meal. Leftovers should always be kept in the refrigerator. Heat it up slowly on top of the stove to enjoy them later. Keep a close eye on it so it does not scorch on the bottom of the pan. Whatever type of chowder is your favorite, you can rest assured that it has traveled the long way through history to arrive at your dinner table. Each chowder recipe began in the mysterious of time as families did their best to come up with filling, delicious food to feed. What is chowder? While most people have at least heard of clam chowder, there are lots of other chowders out there, too. However, just what is chowder? How did someone come up with them in the first place? Chowder is usually a creamy soup that is thick and full of chunky ingredients, rather like a stew. So what makes it different? Traditionally.